This week, the president was in Colorado, and uh, you know his big crusade, as I said at the opening of the show, is gun control. Here's what his solution seems to be. Every day that we wait to do something about it, even more of our fellow citizens are stolen from our lives by a bullet from a gun. Now, the good news is Colorado has already chosen to do something about it. All right, Andy, is he letting the media and particularly Hollywood off the hook here a little bit? I mean, I'm not saying they're to uh, blame sure. for violence, but right. nothing said about it. The thing is, Hollywood likes to sit there and say, this is what bothers me, it's the hypocrisy. Hollywood likes to say, oh, none of this is our fault, but they love to pat themselves on the back for what th when they make what they call an important movie or when they think they're affecting the culture in a positive way. You, well, you can't have it both ways. If you're affecting the culture in, a, in what you think is a positive way, and, and I think they do. I think there were movies that helped the cause of race relations in this country. Uh, I, I think shifting attitudes towards gays and gay marriages, in, in some sense, Hollywood had, had something to do with that. But then you also have to, have to look at yourselves and say, well, maybe this other stuff we're making with just mind-numbing violence is also affecting people. So you, you just... It bothers me that they want to have it both I, ways. I mean, there were great movies that did affect, like Dumb and Dumber really made an impact on education Absolutely. in America. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we know that we are now Dumb are, and Dumber. Uh, call, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. All right, Julie. Yes. Uh, well, you have a problem um, infringing in the Second Amendment. I have a problem infringing in the First Amendment. And I think if you tell Hollywood they can't do something, that's really an infringement on their First Amendment. You know, the reason I don't think Hollywood violence has a lot to do with this, Hollywood movies are all over the world. People all over the world watch our movies, and yet the violent rate of violence, gun violence, is not as vast in some parts of the world as they are here. And so I can't help but think Hollywood probably doesn't really have much to do with it. And we really can't tell them what to write and or, or to show anyway. It's not, our, it's not our place. It's a First Amendment issue. Well, Larry, you're both an artist. And uh, you, know, you have creative juices going through you. Uh, do you feel like that the government should say, now, Larry, you can't sing that. You can't say that because you might, might offend somebody. Or you might incite them to do something really crazy. Absolutely not. My mama tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> so she's 83 and she only weighs 85 pounds. If I said something really bad on TV, mm -hmm. She might not whoop me, but she'd have that old Marine daddy of mine just to, you know, come do what he used to. The media gets it. The, the thing about the media giving Hollywood a pass, I mean, the media and Hollywood, you know, they're twins separated, you know, at birth. Uh, the same agenda, the same thing. The, the thing that I see, I, I saw our, our vice president, uh, and he was, he was really, he, he was very emotional and it was sincere. When, you know, three or four days after Sandy Hook, when mm -hmm. he stood there and said, those kids can't speak for themselves, so I'm going to speak for them. And it was very heartfelt, and it is a position, you know, mm -hmm. that you can take. I would like to take this opportunity for a loving, doting grandfather of two beautiful children to, I would like to speak for those kids at Sandy Hook, for one of them, in the what camera, that one right there. Here's what I would like to say, a loving grandfather, this is my Sandy Hook moment. If the janitor, or the principal, or one of my teachers had had a Glock 9 millimeter and could shoot it like TV's Andy Levy can shoot it, I may be alive. So to take mm. and demagogue one side of the story and blame all of the gun deaths on too many guns, uh, it, it is specious at best and laughable at worst. One janitor has it. If one of those kids had been saved because somebody could have put a bullet between that guy's eyes, I say, have them packing heat and knowing how to use it. You're not going to hear that from the media. Thank you all. Andy, Julie, Larry, great to have you here. By the way, catch Andy Saturday on a brand new Red Eye. That's 11 p.m. Eastern and weeknights, 3 a.m. Eastern, midnight out west, where it's a little easier to watch at midnight, or you can always put it on your DVR and tape it.